This week on The Adventure Begin, watch Chaz cry. Yeah, go away. Make sure you ring the bell and subscribe for killer unlockables like, you know, uh, free stuff. And guess what, gang? We've reached the goal, our sub-goal. Colton and I are going to be in pain very, very soon. I just got to get with him. I don't even know if he knows it's been reached. So uh, we're going to take part in the Dragon VO One Chip Challenge and be very, very hurt for a very, very long time. Uh, so, But before we get into this month's weekly events... Uh, I would like to express a big thanks to the good people over at Twisted Gorilla for inviting me to become a Twisted Gorilla ambassador. That's right, folks. Twisted Gorilla has apparel and accessories for yourself or any of the special nerds in your life. Uh, everything from movies to sports, animals, food, witty jazz, and so much more. Use promo code RNRNERD at checkout to receive 15% off of your order. Then show me the receipt, man, and I will personally, out of my own pocket, give you a tab gift card. Gift card with, like, a mystery um, denomination on it. Could be 50 cents, could be 25 bucks. Who knows? So, again, man, that's TwistedGorilla.com. Use promo code RNRNERD to get 15% off and the tab gift card from yours truly. Now, on with this month's events. That's what you're waiting for, right? Yeah? You seem so interested. Every Monday, we got Miniature Mondays, man. It's a free event. Starts about 5 o'clock. Come hang out with like-minded people and paint your miniatures. Uh, get tips and tricks from cats who have been doing it for quite a while. And uh, we supply the paint and uh, the brushes and all that jazz. You just have to supply your own miniatures. They also have an art meetup. This is a free event. It's at 6 p.m. And um, here's Austin to tell you all about it. Art Meetup's a really fun event. We have people hang out. I bring some paper and sketch materials you can use or you can bring your own. It's a very casual social event. Hang out with other artists of all skill levels, learn some tips and tricks, and sometimes we actually have special activities and stuff you can do as well, but they're always optional. Mostly it's just to hang out with other people and see what kind of things people around town are doing. Come on by. Every Tuesday we have the Digimon TCG Store Meetup and Tournament. Prices vary on this event, and this card game starts at 6 p.m. And on August 2nd, man, we're gonna be at the Tamina Farmer's Market. That's for a national night out. It's a free event, starts at 5 p.m. Um, 12 fantastic, fun family vendors with police and fire trucks. There's gonna be uh, four local restaurants, plus ice cream, pies, and treats. So you know I'm gonna be there. So come hang out with us. Every Wednesday, we got the Yu-Gi-Oh! meetup. Prices vary. And uh, this starts at 6 p.m. Every Thursday, bring your own board game night. That's a free event with Austin. Starts at 6 p.m. Here's Austin. Bring your own board game night happens every week. You've got a good group of people who come in every week with their own games, or you can bring your own. Anything you want to play that you don't get a chance to at home, bring it in. We'll try it out with you. Hope to see you there. All right, we also got the Team Yankee and Flame of Wars casual meetup. This is a free event. Starts at 6 p.m. Headed up by our our good friend, Jimmy J. Johnson. Colonel Sergeant Jimmy J. Johnson. <laughs> Why Schwartz is back there? For the casual meetup and tournament. Prices vary, start at 6 p.m. Don't forget to bring all your shoes and all your glasses. Remember that, kids. Just in case you forgot them and you need them and you have them. Okay? Should have worked on that. It's been a while since I've done that. Dragon Ball Super CGC Casual Meetup and Tournament. Prices vary on this one. 7 p.m. start time. And on August 4th, we're at Chick-fil-A. Why? Because Chick-fil-A is delicious. Uh, this is going to be at the 1488 restaurant. Totally free, man. Come hang out with us. We'll be there starting about 5.30. We got Spider-Man, raffles and prizes for the kiddies. It's going to be a lot of fun. Every Friday night, we've got Atomic Mass Game Night. Totally free to hang out with us. Starts at 5 p.m. Marvel Crisis Protocol, man. Uh, usually that's what Jason and I are doing, as well as a handful of other cats. Plus, there's other tabletop jazz going on. Uh, as long as there's a table open, it's totally free. It's a lot of words. 
<laughs> Every Saturday we got casual war gaming. That's uh, Warhammer, Legion, Battletech, and all those other ones. Man, totally free. 11 a.m. for all you early risers. Uh, come hang out with us, man. Uh, Pokemon Unsanctioned casual meet and play. Totally free at noon. It's for the kids to come out, learn the game, or play the game, or to trade as well. Uh, we have a pro Poke Professor on site to make sure that uh, you're playing by the rules and that those trades are fair. So, um, you know, come do some pokey things. Magic the Gathering Casual Commander. This is a free event, starts at 5 p.m. And on the 6th, we have the Adventure Bazaar. This is a free event, starts at 5 p.m. We're gonna find somebody to tell you all about it right now. Do you have extra tabletop board gaming bits, war gaming bits, anything we sell at the store? that's in good condition and you'd like to trade for some store credit, come on down to our Bits Bazaar. You'll come in early, you'll claim a table, you'll lay out your wares. Other guests will come in. If you guys work out a price that seems good to you, you'll go up to the counter, they'll get your wares, you'll get store credit, everybody wins. So come on by to see what people are selling and make sure if you want a table to come in early. Tables are free. Also on the sixth, the adventure begins, board game library at the Children's Museum. Uh, this is $7.50. I think it's, that's just the cost to get into the museum. Uh, it starts at 10 a.m. 10 a.m., that means I ain't going to be there. It's going to be somebody else. More likely, it's going to be Jordan. Chaz is going to be sleeping. So come hang out with us at the Children's Museum. Play some awesome board games. Every Sunday, we got Magic the Gathering Casual Pioneer Meetup. Totally free event. Starts at 2 p.m. We got Yu-Gi-Oh! Tournament. 6 p.m. Prices vary on this one. And this Sunday, the 7th, at the D&D Junior Adventurers League. Five dollars uh, to play, 4 p.m. start time. You gotta sign up online. If you're not able to sign up online, that means it's full. You gotta get on it fast, man. Those are your events for this week, this, this whole month, really. Those are your weekly events for this month. And uh, let's go read some comics. You guys wanna read some comics? Man, it's time to fill your stash. Here are the top books I recommend you pick it up this week before anybody else does because I kind of ordered really low on these. Batman number 126 is the Venom homage cover. It's the Felsafe cover as well. Uh, in this book, dude, uh, I've read it, so spoilers. Um, Felsafe is just kicking Batman's buns throughout like three-fourths of this book. But there's a new Batman costume, or it could be an old one. I think it's a new one, so it's a possible key. Batman Red Hood, number one, is the White Knight Presents. Uh, there's a new Robin. That's, uh, I think her name is Gan, so it's Robin's Robin. It's Robin to Robin. Robin to Robin. So it's possible key. Dark Crisis, number three. First Red Canary cover, which is right here. And uh, it'll be, I think, is the Red Canary ca cameo. Uh, it's a possible key. There's only like one box, and you just see the... Psh, the uh the domino mask but it's red so i think it's her first cameo but this cover um had no idea um that was gonna be so big so i ordered one for myself period and there might be one more so that's why you're supposed to foc dead lucky number one this just looks dope look at it it's really cool uh pick it up edge of spider verse number one spider layered uh first appearance and uh there's a new let's see Orona, she's got a new suit. She's the one on the, the cover there. Possible key. I think there's a new appearance of someone else. Can't remember. Anyway, Eight Billion Genies, number one. This is the second print. This book has been going like crazy. So, and I didn't order heavy on these second prints. So, good luck. Harley Quinn, number 18. The Batman, number one, homage. This one I did order heavy on. It's going to go fast. I'm not even going to put it on the shelves because it's probably going to sell out before I open. So good luck. Iron Man number 22. Uh, he's got a new suit. Uh, it's like a stealth noir suit. And uh, it's a possible key because why not? Sacrament number one for all you horror lovers. It's basically the exorcist meets alien. So I'll pick it up, man. Only got a few. Spider-Man 2099 Exodus number five. It's the first appearance of X-Men 2099. So of course those are always possible keys. Survival Street number one. If you know me, you know I love the Muppets. And this just looks like the Muppets. So of course, like the Muppets, uh, it's a apocalyptic Sesame Street. I have no idea what it's about, but uh, obviously. 
Tales of Suspense, number 57, the facsimile edition. The first appearance of Hawkeye. I can't remember if I ordered heavy on these or not, but I usually do. So make sure you get here at 11. And of course, um, real quick before we take off, all of the DC run books are uh, paying tribute to Neil Adams. And they're really, really cool. And, uh, you know, it's, they kind of talk about how without Neil Adams, a lot of the DC stuff ain't happening. So, um, you know, pick them up, read them out. Pretty cool, man. Those are the books you should fill your stash with this week. We're going to check into the Adventure Stadium and find out what that special product of the week is with Brandon. Sure All right. Yeah. So that was Brandon. The Adventure Stadium. Hey man, we're gonna try this again. We're in the stadium. Guess what, man? Lou's gonna tell you all about the real goings-ons. All right, guys. Thanks, Chaz. Uh, well, not a whole much has dropped lately. However, some of the hottest product we have is the new 2021 Donruss Optic NFL. Uh, comes with one on-card auto, uh, slew of parallels, different color Cirrolias parallels as well. We did actually get in some. Um, some tier one baseball, but that went out the door real quick. So uh, we're trying to get some more for you guys. It's a really hot product. Uh, what else did we get? Uh, we got some impeccable soccer for all my soccer people. All five of you guys, come on in. Grab the last one we have. Uh, not much coming out right at this moment. Uh, baseball kind of delayed till the end of September. So yeah. I mean, come on in. We have all types of things in here. We have uh, from wrestling to soccer to hockey. We don't have rugby. So some people ask about that. See you guys later. Hey, man, check it out. I'm back. Where have you been? Man, comic cons and oh, car wrecks. Vacations? I wish I had a For vacation. myself. You, yeah, you had a vacation. That was yours. It was long. Was it good? The road was long. A long and winding road. All the way friend. to Yosemite. I mean, uh, Yosemite. I mean, Yellowstone. Oh, uh, right on. Did you um, did you go with family, like in a car? Yeah, with these knuckleheads that hang out in our audience in, in store, yes. You know what? If Maybe you would have liked it better if you were on the open road on a motorcycle. Oh, yeah. like the Ghost Rider? Yeah, mm. perhaps. Just like Johnny Blaze, a.k.a. the Ghost Rider. An American motorcycle stunt performer and entertainer, making his very first appearance in Marvel Spotlight number five in May of 1972. One year after I was born. Oh, really? Right on. Why didn't you pick up that comic? I couldn't even pick up myself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ghost Riders affiliations include Defenders, Midnight Suns, and the new Fantastic Four, mainly. His powers include superhuman strength, stamina, durability, and agility. Uh, he has a healing factor. I did not know this. Mm. Um, he has supernatural awareness. I don't know what the hell that means. And <laughs> hellfire manipulation, which he can control fire. Right. Especially with his chain. So, like, healing factor. Well, it's kind of hard to put bullet holes in fire, right? Yeah, this is skeleton bones. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, okay. Maybe, maybe he's just immune to it. He also has dimensional travel and a wide array of mystical powers. Uh, a little fact. I don't know, do you, maybe you know this. Johnny claims to hate Matt Murdock. Do you know why? No, fill me in. Because he believes that uh, he's much more suited to be the Daredevil <laughs> character than uh, Matt Murdock is. Oh. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Get over it, Ghost Rider. Yeah. So uh, let's talk about, let's see how uh, comparable the his MCP. It works on MCP? Yeah. Well, there is no bulletproof, but he is immune to just about every every uh, status effect there is. His new character's immune to yes. uh, flames and fire. Yes, which the original only... version was not immune to incinerate. But Who knows like... why? Maybe they dropped, didn't have enough coffee that morning. I don't know. Anyways, but the current Ghost Rider, he has eight health on his healthy side. His defenses are three physical, four energy, and four mystical. He's a size three character. On, uh, and he's got a medium move on a medium base, which is pretty big. So his base is huge. He's on a motorcycle. He can go fast. Yeah. On his injured side, everything else is the same, except he has seven health instead of eight. So for a five-third character, we're looking at 15 health. That's a pretty decent health pool, right? Not bad at all. So then we got Change of Damnation is his first attack. It's an energy attack, yes. 
Range 3, Strength 6, 0 power. You gain power equal to the damage dealt, so this is his builder. On the wild, after the attack is resolved, the target character gains the Hex special condition. Which Hex means you don't get to count crits. You don't get to roll extra dice. You get to count your crit as a success, but you don't get extra dice off of it. Yeah. Stifles your potential a little bit. Um, the next attack he has is called Flames of Hell. Hear about kids. Hear about kids. H E double L. Lucky sticks. It's an energy attack. Also, it's range three, but it's a beam. Those are always fun. Yes, they are. Strength five, power two. If this attack deals damage after this attack is resolved, the target character gains incinerate special condition. So it's really nice way to line up incinerate on people. And that's uh, one less defense dash. One less defense dash for that character, yes. They're on fire. (laughs) And then we have this third attack. It's called Penance Stare. It's a mystical attack. Range three, strength five, power five. It's expensive, but guess what? It's a big hammer. Yeah, this thing's awesome. You get to add dice to the attack and roll equal to the amount of power that the target character has. So somebody like Magneto sitting on a whole bunch of power, well, I've got eight power. Well, guess what? I've got dice all the way up to five extra on this attack. So now my strength five attack is now strength 10, Magneto. Have a nice day. That's great. Yes. Uh, You get to roll equal amount of power the target character has to a maximum of five. Instead of gaining power for the damage dealt by this attack, the target character loses one power for damage dealt. So not only do you do damage, you take the power too. That's awesome. Awesome. His superpowers, Hell on Wheels. Right. Three power. That's all we can afford. He advances his character long. You're hauling butt. Yeah. You can only do that once per turn, though. Then you have Wicked's Judgment, which is reactive. And it's kind of a... So this is where playing a lot with Ghost Rider comes in handy. Because you remember this. A lot of people who play this forget about this ability. It's a reactive suit power. Costs you two power. After an attack made by a character within range three, this character is resolved. If that attack targeted another allied character of Ghost Riders, this character may use a suit power. The attacking character suffers one damage for each critical in the attack roll. So, that's how you punish your opponents for, oh, you rolled two criticals on there. Well, Ghost Riders are going to pay two, and you're going to take two damage. Mm-hmm. Have a nice day. <laughs> it's very good. There's a Spirit of Vengeance, which is innate superpower, which is awesome for Ghost Rider. After an attack targeting another allied character is resolved, if it dealt damage, this character gains one power. Okay. He's always gaining power. Yeah. He's a great guy in a wide list. Guardians of the Galaxy, really awesome. And then... His immunities, which is pretty much everything. Pretty much. He's immune to bleed, he's immune to hex, he's immune to incinerate, and he's immune to poison. That's right, man. I love Ghost Rider. I put him in, uh, especially if I'm doing Guardians. Mm -hmm. He's always in the Guardians affiliation. I try to move him into, like, X-Men, but I don't know if I'm, like, a purist, because every time I do, I, like, feel like I'm cheating on someone. Mm, a little bit. Sure, yeah, so sure. I'm like, maybe the juggernaut. He also makes a good fit and is affiliated with Midnight Suns. Mm-hmm. Really rocks in that with that group. Uh, JT locally here plays with them. He has a lot of fun with Ghost Rider. He's all around really good, awesome five threat. Yeah. Really deserved that revamp that they gave him, changed him a lot, and you see him a lot more. So. Yeah, man, we got him in the store, and uh, he's just a good character overall. Just overall. His and model fun, looks really fun. fun to paint. Right on. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's right. Mine's going to look all cosmic. I can't look <laughs> really dope, man. So that's your MCP for this week, man. Uh, Jason's back, and he's safe. And uh, maybe we'll get to play a game. This Keep week. a lookout for us. We're going to be running a tournament at the end of this month, oh, the yeah. end of August. Um, we're going to, I'm hoping we can get a fair number of people there. We're going to limit it to 16. I don't know if we'll hit that ceiling, but I just went to another tournament this past weekend. And there was 12 of us there. So I'm hoping, hey, at least we can get eight people. We'll be doing good big. Hey, man, if not, if it's just you and I, we'll hey, do we'll a couple two or three games. That's right. <laughs> we'll win two out of three. <laughs> this would be great. Cool, man. See you next week. See you next week. Excelsior. All right, man, check it out. Welcome back to another segment of uh, Hot Wings with Chaz, I guess. What we call this? Hot Wings with Chaz? Yeah. All right, man, it's time to get saucy with yours truly. Here we go. 
Hey man, you guys ready to get saucy? I know this guy's ready to get saucy, and I'm o I'm always ready to get saucy. First off, man, big thanks to Tapped Draft House and Kitchen for these awesome wings. Look at those. Baked, delicious, juicy, the huge, man, the great. Some of the best wings I've ever had. And uh, they supply these uh, to us for uh, the Get Saucy segment. So, man, head on over to Tapped. Great beer selection and uh, great food. If you're not into wings, they got pizzas and burgers. Some of the best burgers out here. And some places have burger in their name. Yeah. They also have really good pretzels. I would suggest it. <laughs> right. So if you're into pretzels. All right, man, this week, all the way from Hellfire Hot Sauce, we got Zombie Snot. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Zombie Snot. It's a Verde. A Verde. A Verde hot sauce. Zombie Snot is our answer to a chili head salsa verde green sauce. This insanely fresh and tasty sauce is amped up using the Carolina Reaper Ooh. and rounded out with green habanero peppers, roasted garlic, Granny Smith apples, Ooh. you know, to uh, <laughs> subside the heat, <laughs> tomatillos, Sweet. cilantro, scallions, and lime juice. Considered one of our milder sauces, okay. this still packs a punch, not just another green salsa verde. Enjoy the amazing fresh flavor of this sauce on virtually anything. So again, I, I love that. We got a Walking Dead style. It's just coming out of his nose. That is awesome. <sighs> yes, cool man. Mm. <sighs> yeah, shake well and refrigerate. Anything else on here? Doesn't say. Um, <laughs> Do not sue us. <laughs> it smells anything. really, really nice though. I gotta get this. Oh, it really does. Right? I don't think it's Brandon from the Adventure Stadium, who knows all about cards <laughs> and all the, the things that are coming up and going on. Just watch this episode. Pterodactyl. All right. <laughs> Let's go. This is uh, Hellfire Hot Sauce Zombie Snot. Let's rock and roll. Oh, mm, that's okay. That, that, yeah. All right. Hit you. Ooh. Okay, that's interesting. That is a lot hotter. This than... is the hottest that we have. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's yeah. Mild? I actually, mm, that's pretty good, actually. Can I get another hit? Huh? Can I get another hit? <laughs> and we're supposed to do the one chip challenge. This is not going to be fun. Fun. Okay, instantly hot. Mm. I mean, it just coats your tongue <laughs> and craziness. <laughs> and my tongue is on fire right now. I was like, this is Verde. It's not going to be. Mm mm. I don't like this. <laughs> it tastes really good. Oh, man. Okay. I don't know. I think that it just stays actually, there. Yeah, it stays yeah. there, but I do love the little <laughs> sweetness it gives to you, too. Uh, that oh, might be yeah, my the granny favorite. apples really come in. <laughs> oh, they don't. I actually really like it. Oh, that's totally cool. <laughs> um, I've been waiting for this day so long. <laughs> Have you? Yeah, oh yeah. All right, well, the, I mean, it just stays there, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so initially, it tasted really good. Mm -hmm. I'm like, cool, and you just get a hint mm -hmm. of that heat, and now it just, it's just hanging out. It's having a party. <laughs> it hit my face. Oh, <sighs> uh, um, where is everyone else to see this moment? <laughs> they're right there in TV <laughs> land. Yeah. Um, okay, other than I really like it, you have to tell them as to why you like it. Because I don't know why <laughs> you would like something like this. Because I'm a little bit crazy. No, I love the, as soon as you bite into it, I do like that. Okay, I'm going to go through a roller coaster. But at the very end, it oh. does finally kind of mellow out. No, it doesn't. Yes, yeah. it does. No. no, unless you've been drinking turpentine your entire life. Oh. <laughs> uh. Cool. So, do you get any of the things that they said that was in here? Actually, I did not. You didn't get any I got of it. a little bit of the apple, but that was like as soon as you bite into it, and then it was just straight. After Woo! the ghost pepper, after the hala habanero, hala 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 hala. This is right there, man. Ghost pepper. Like I want to taste it, taste it, so I can get the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but um, oh my, huh? This I will say the hot wings from Tat lived up to expectations. Well, these aren't hot wings; they're chicken wings. Chicken wings. Why do I have you on the show? Um, <laughs> I ask you that every week. <laughs> so I mean, seriously, like before, like the, hit, the it just kicked in. Yeah. Um, it did have a really nice taste, and it mm -hmm. had some sweetness into it, but then it just kicks in, dude, and it's just there. I mean, yeah. 
Um, if you like spicy, or yeah. mild spicy, cons mild. Yeah. Um, Hellfire, zombie snuff, for sure. My mouth is salivating. I can't talk. Um, yeah, uh, zombie snuff from Hellfire, uh, hot sauce. Get it <laughs> if you like hot, hot, and just hang out on your. It's to my lips right now. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, if you like that, if that's your bag, baby. Hellfire uh, zombie snot. Man, you're is. looking like the picture. Uh, yeah. You got that snot going, bro. <laughs> I don't think so. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> I don't know what people are going to be looking. <laughs> that's where he's fired, man. <laughs> Face tapped. Before we go, here's this week's pet of the week. It's Nico the cat. This has been sent in by Helen G. And I'm only saying that because all the Nikos, that's what they sound like when they're like, hey Chaz, let's say hey Nico. Anyways, Nico the cat. Looks like he's only got three paws. Wooden's hidden. You want your comics, games, and sports cards, but don't want to leave the house because it's still really, really hot outside? Then stop by our online store at shop.theadventurebeginstx.com for all your nerdy needs. Free shipping to all 50 states with orders over 100 smackaroonies. New episodes drop every week on certain social media platforms like YouTube and on Facebook, as well as on Roku for me and for you through thewoodlandsonline.com. That's right, man. Hope you had a good time. We'll join us next week for more comics, games, events, more and more. And before we go, can you guess what national day it is this today? National Ice Cream Sandwich Day. Ice Cream Sandwich. That's right, man. You like ice cream sandwiches? Let us know in the comments. So don't copy Reese and eat your sandwiches with her spoon. Eat them with your hands. See ya, nerds. Every Sunday, the magic, the magic to Cali. Cut that. So hold on to your socks. <laughs> Before we go, man, this, here's this week. Nope. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. <laughs> so don't copy Reese and eat her sandwiches with her spoon. <laughs> Blah, 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 blah. That's what you need to know. Bring your own pork. We are tab. <laughs> what is that? T A B. <laughs>
<laughs> MCP, what? My crisis protocol. MCP goes right in the house. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, quiet on the set. Hey, shut up. We're recording. Here's your loud mouth. <laughs> <laughs> How you guys good? doing? Oh, oh, it's done. Oh, it just went yep. down. Yeah, his face got super red. Yep. I don't feel so it bad now. Look at his face is red too. <laughs> I just swallowed it and it like it's it like fire you. that just goes down your throat. Yeah, it's like fire, right? Yeah, do you take it like a champ, this guy? What do you think about it? Oh, it's it's hot. 